In this video I'm going to show you how to insert a contact form into your WordPress blog. And it's a good idea to have a contact form so that people can get in touch with you to ask you questions about blog postings or products that you might be selling as an affiliate and so on. The simplest way to insert a contact form is to use a plugin. So I'm going to install one now. Come here to plugins. and then add new and I'll do a search here for contact form and click on search plugins and as you can see there are a whole lot of different contact forms that you can have but the one that I like is this one here slick contact forms by Lee Chestnut so I'm going to go ahead and install it. So click on install now and click on OK. And that's installed. So I'm going to click on activate plugin. And there we are, the plugin is activated. So now I need to configure it. So come down here to settings. and slick contact forms and then you can fill out what you're going to have on the contact form and email the default email address for receiving um, contact emails this will be set up as the administrators email but you can change it if you wish and you have the email subject I'm going to say from Sam's blog There are a couple of options here. You can include the IP address, which is a good idea because that can help track down anybody who's trying to spam you via your contact form. And include the page URL. I would check that one as well because then that gives you an idea as to what pages people are viewing when they uh, have a query to get in touch with you. Then you have the options you can have after the form has been submitted you can have what they call the Ajax message which basically you can type in here the uh, the default one is thank you your comments have been received the error is error please try again and the invalid is there was an error verifying your details and then you've got the validation messages input required and enter a valid email you can also if you wish have a redirect and the, you can enter here the URL of the page that you want people to go to after the email has been sent or if there's an error and so forth. I'm going to stick with the Ajax message and then click on save changes. There we go the settings are saved so I go back to the dashboard and then I need to insert a widget into my main page so that the contact form can be activated so I'm going to click here on widgets and then scroll down till I find the uh, slick contact forms and what slick contact forms do is it adds a floating contact form which means that it's not actually included in a sidebar even though you have to actually include the contact form in a slide bar you'll see what I mean in a minute that doesn't make a lot of sense but you'll see what I mean okay first thing to do is to slide this in to the uh, sidebar that we're going to put it in I just ease it up here I'm going to put it in the left sidebar I'm just going to put it in here and then configure it here you can have it either as floating or slide out I'm going to have it as floating 
and the tab text contact us. I'm going to leave the width and the other things here uh, set at the uh, the default settings and the skin I'm leave that as black because that will fit in but you can uh, change it if you wish again we're leaving the email where it is and the form text at the top again in the tech box the name and email that's required and the location I'm going to leave it here at left but you can uh, change it if you wish so we do that and I'll click on save and there we go that's done now if I go to the blog site you can see that the contact form is floating right here. I'm using a very small screen resolution for this. If you're looking at it on a larger screen resolution you'll see off to the side and it won't obscure the name of the blog. And if I click on it you can see we have the space for people's name and email and their questions or comments and the submit button. And so, on. so let's just uh, enter that in and then click on submit it's processing and there you go it flashes up your comments have been received and if I click there that just closes that up and I've rectified that problem now so it's not obscuring the name um, one thing I didn't explain earlier is what it means by floating as I scroll down you see it follows like that. Let's go back to the top and I'll show you something else. We go back to the widgets page. If I decide to have that as a slide out and then click on save and then refresh you can see it moves over right to the side and then when I click on it it slides out like that and I click on it again it'll slide back in and as I scroll down you can see it stays stuck to the side like that they do ask for a donation if you use this on a regular basis and there's a donate button uh, in the setup area.